<laughs> so I saw this image on the internet of a really kind of abstract stylized ghost. Seeing as it's spooky season, I thought I'd have a go. So I've just done a quick kind of sketch out in my black dark journal. And I've dug out my collection, my charcoal pencils. And in there, there's a white one, which I've never really used that much. So I've just done a couple of kind of sketchy marks down on the page. Um, kind of where I want things to be. I don't kind of like want any straightforward kind of line lines. Um, more kind of cross hatchy, kind of just mark making kind of marks um, down on the page. Now, like I said, I've not really used this white charcoal pencil before. Um, now, I don't even know whether it is actually charcoal or whether it is just kind of chalk. So all I'm doing is just kind of making sketchy marks down, just kind of breaking up the blackness as opposed to drawing a specific kind of line rather than... Oh, hello. Oh, it looks a bit scary, that. Well, yes, that's, ghosty. The, that's, that's the kind of intention, really. Just being tidy so. up, I found some Tim Holtz etc. tags. Oh, that's nice. So they're for you. Oh, biggish ones as well. Large ones, yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so my intention is to get kind of like some scratchy marks down and then go in with my finger and then go back in and recommit kind of like the, the image. So go in, blend with my finger and then go over again. Um, in this kind of scribbly kind of way, almost a kind of fluid way, if you know what I mean. So I've fed the dogs, by the way. Oh, lovely! Um, it's a very, very warm, very, very warm um, September day today, and um, too hot actually at the moment to take the dogs out. So. Wait till the pavements have cooled down a little bit, but they still need feeding at the normal time. <laughs> so, so the first kind of ethereal layer down, and then I'll come back in with stronger lines. So the hands kind of need to come in. Kind of like so. So this may be one of those pages where there's a lot of kind of repetitive marks being made um, as I kind of play and fool around with this kind of style which I've never really done before. Um, so what I might end up doing is just letting it turn into one of those kind of quick-ish art journal pages where I don't really do much talking. Oh. Apparently this is a kind of Japanese manga -y kind of ghost. Apparently, that's what it said on the picture anyway. Um, I haven't got the reference picture in front of me because I tend to kind of, if I have a reference picture in front of me, I tend to look at it too much. <laughs> I tend to refer back to it too much and I end up copying rather than interpreting what I wanted to do in the first place, which was kind of do a, a kind of spooky, kind of ethereal kind of image rather than something which was you know fully formed and fully committed let's give it a little bit of a, a shoulder there so like I said this is kind of like the first layer that I'm going to put down I may even come back in again 
with some white gesso just to give it highlight and then come in with charcoal proper gray ch black charcoal pencil to give it a bit more kind of depth They're almost like eyelashes those look <laughs> kind of like that of course these pencils wear down very very quickly I've got I've got a wet wipe and um, I could do actually with a cotton bud so I can get in there and control where the water is and where I can lift off um, some of that off the page just like that and then just let that dry a little bit and then we can come back in again a cotton bud will be a lot stronger uh, well i've got more control for the cotton bud but i kind of love this kind of movement that i'm getting it's almost um it's almost like a flame effect with the white so we've got the darker gray underneath so i think i'm going to have to sharpen my pencil let's grab my bin So a quick sharpen, there we go, and I've missed the bin, there we go. So I'll come in with those clawsy bits, don't want to get too much moisture on my finger. Because if I do, I might end up taking something off that I don't want to. As long as I know where... Oh, I think I've broken it. That's annoying. Let's come right down to the bottom of the page. And then just smooth that out. Yeah, it's definitely snapped. Right, so I'm going to have to sharpen this again and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my pencil sharpener is too strong for um, for the actual pencil itself. It keeps snapping. So I'm just going to have to keep coming in and sharpening with a knife which is what i've just done just keep committing those those lines again so, all right let's start bringing them fingers in Temptation is really to start colouring like a, like you would do with a colouring pencil, but I'm trying not to do that. Work in the charcoal or the chalk, whatever it is. Kind of reached a saturation point on the page where if I add any more of the the white down it's kind of scraping it off from what's underneath so 
So what I might do now, yeah, I'm just starting to scrape it off now. So I might just grab that wet wipe. And that just lifts it off. Uh, what I might do now is actually go and grab a paintbrush and get some white gesso. And then after we've done that, we can come back in maybe with the black charcoal pencil and start adding in some shadows. <laughs> OK, I'll be back. So I've got a small brush and I've got a pot of Dina Wakeley Media White Gesso. So and I've just put some down to a craft mat here. So now I'm going to try and start building up brush strokes. I'm probably going to end up losing those points, I think. The, um, when I say by points, I mean the, the, the detail. This brush I don't think is very good. Perhaps I need a line brush or something like that. Uh, an angled brush, which I must have somewhere. What about this one? Actually, let's try that. It needs to be maybe stiffer bristled. No, got nothing to do with that. It definitely needs to be stiffer and smaller. Do, 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 do. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I'll have a fertile through my paintbrushes. Probably too big. Could do with a small angled. There we go. Let's see what that is. Actually, that might be a bit too small, but we'll see. I might need to um I might need to swap and change. Let's just pick some up. So I'm getting the brush marks, which is kind of what I want. Don't want any kind of clear lines. Better. And I'm almost almost dry brushing. There we go. That's more what I was after. Well, you can actually see the movement in the, the brush strokes. So I'm putting the paint down. Bring those brush strokes right the way down. We'll do this. Different sort of angle. And I'm going to have issues with the hand, I think. But, you know. Almost like a white flame, isn't it? Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to follow. I'm going upwards with the strokes. And then following the line of that curve.
kind of not not losing the essence like I thought I might with the uh, the essence of the actual ghost the, the kind of the spirit of the ghost if you know what I mean right, let's switch over to that smaller brush and see whether or not we can brush is too it's too small it's too small and too rigid. There we go. That's probably more, more like it. Uh, let's bring those brush strokes down. Oh, I'm probably going to put my hand in the paint. <laughs> Let's just see if I can try and get something underneath first. And come back in with some grey or black charcoal or even black paint later and kind of commit the shadows a little bit better around the hand but I just want to get those kind of like fingery strokes in almost like banana fingers or claws, if you like. That's it. Don't want to go too mad though. Don't want it to be too, too formed. Leave it a little bit unresolved is the word that I'm looking for. Right, where's that white brush again? Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, so then let's grab some of the and now we've got a hair in it. There we go. I'm happy with that for the time being. So let me get this white gesso put away, dried, brushes washed, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. So now I've got some black gesso. I'll just take it from the lid. I've cleaned the mat, as you can see. So what I wanna do now is just come in with some kind of sketchy, black brush strokes just to knock back a little bit of that kind of charcoal -y grayness. I'm just using really really small brush strokes because I don't want to eat into the white very much. I'm, I'm really happy with the way the white's gone down. I just want to kind of commit this little section down here 
just make that a little bit darker just down here just real small there we go that's it it's just small little tweaks same with the eyes You probably can't even see where I'm putting the paint down because I'm putting black on black. I'm trying not to form the eye sockets or the eye holes too much. I do want them still very ethereal just breaking them up that's it yeah and then and then we'll come down here see i'm torn whether to actually add Just add a little bit of shadow between the fingers. Just helps to kind of um, distinguish. Where the fingers start and end. And then just add a little bit of shadow. Not a huge amount. That's it. I've actually got some Q-tips that I can use just to kind of give a little bit of blend in. Before it gets too dry. So it just helps to kind of break up that edge. There we go. And then just blend in. And I could actually just take it away so that line disappears just there into the blackness, into that inky blackness. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's the black. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get these charcoal pencils again. Let me kind of clean up and I'll just dry everything off. And I'll be back with those charcoal pencils. Don't need that anymore. All right, so I've come back in with a light charcoal pencil. Now that we're focused again, and then I can just come in now just with some just light kind of lines. Just have a little bit of shading. And then I can use Q-tip just to blend. So we can just use it as well just to diffuse. 
I'm going to kind of give him those eyelashes back. <laughs> there we go. Yes. That's what we're after. Just to break it up a little bit. <sighs> I think maybe a dark one down there a little bit. I'm just, I'm actually, for the first time, I'm actually looking at the camera um, on my screen just to kind of gauge where I need to go. <sighs> just to create a bit more sort of detail, bring that shadow out maybe a little bit longer. <sighs> I'm just blowing the, the charcoal dust away. You know what i think i'm really happy with that really really happy with that so what i'm going to do now is just ruin it completely by adding some handwritten text <laughs> just grab my pen i'll be back in a second okay so i've got my white paint pen so what i want to do is i'm going to put some text down here but i'm not particularly bothered um about getting perfect writing and perfect handwriting. So, and in fact, I want it to be kind of sketchy because obviously the theme is kind of sketchy. So, that's fine. Just need to get some card just to make sure I've got the paint flowing. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so I'm going to sign off. And it's the 4th of September today, so we'll do. <laughs> so there you go. One quick spooky at journal page. Monotone. Black and white only. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this art journal page today. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, then you can do so by clicking that button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again 
very, very soon. And I've resisted putting the splatters in. <laughs> Bye. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.